Hey everyone, Morgan here. We're on page two of the reactions outline, and we're going to be talking about how to balance chemical equations today. The uh, principle behind what we're doing is basically called conservation of atoms. And it says that you will have the same number and the same type of atoms on both sides. Of a chemical equation. So we are going to go through this balancing understanding that there really isn't a specific set rule about how to do it. Okay. It's you just look for things that catch your attention and you start do them in pencil probably so that you can change, okay? So we go on. So let's look at this first one. H2 plus O2 gives us H2O. I immediately notice that this is O2, but there's you know, two oxygens and only one over here. So I need to put a coefficient up front. I can't add a subscript. That would be changing a chemical formula. And in our whole last unit, we did a lot of time talking about how to write chemical formulas. You know, that would change water into hydrogen peroxide. Not a cool thing, so we're going to avoid that. So by putting that 2 there as a coefficient, I now have two oxygens, but I've got 2 times 2, which is 4 hydrogens. Now over here, I can put a 2 to balance that out. It's now a balanced equation. Now for those of you who are a little OCD like myself and you see this blank line, you're welcome to put a 1 right there, but that 1 is not required. Okay, now when I look here, K plus O2 gives you K2O. So I'm going to need two of these oxygens, and I only have one there. That two's on the K, it's not on the oxygen. So I'm going to have to put a two there. Then two times two gives me four Ks, potassiums, and that one O2. Okay, there are a lot of different ways to do this, and you're going to encounter a few others when we're going through and doing exercises for this chapter, but basically pick one and start. Here, aluminum, oxygen, and Al2O3. Well, I kind of noticed something that's just weird because of a little bit of my obsession with numbers. That's a 2 and that's a 3, so they're not going to really go into each other, okay? But they have a common factor at 6. So if I put a 2 here, 2 times 3 is 6 oxygens, and if I put a 3 here, 3 times 2 is 6 oxygens. Those are balanced. 2 times 2 on the aluminum is 4. Okay? A lot of different ways of doing these, folks. Don't get tuned into one way and think it's the only way. It's just what you happen to notice. Now in the next one, I'm noticing the 2 and the 3 again. So I'm thinking put a 2 there, put a 3 there. The chlorines are balanced. 2 on the iron, so I put a 2 there. Okay. Now, in number 5, two chlorines on this side and one on that just caught my attention. So I put the 2 there. That means I need two sodiums and a 1 for the Cl2, or leave it blank if you prefer. Now, sometimes the numbers will get bigger. <laughs> That's an 8. And over here, sulfur is a 3. Okay, so... Uh, if I multiply this by 8 and that by 3, they balance out. And 2 times 8 gives me 16 for the chromium. Okay. Now again, i got the 2 and the 3 thing going on. So if I put a 2 there and a 3 there, that works good. And that's a 1, so I can leave that blank. Everything works out. Now going for some slightly more complex ones here, where we've got two products, I have to realize that there might be the same element in more than one of these, okay? So I'm just always going to watch for that. One magnesium, one magnesium, one hydrogen. i got two hydrogens there, so I'll put a two there. Two H, that means I've got two Cl's, two Cl's. Hey, it's balanced, okay? This might be the hardest one on the entire assignment to balance. The answers are all ones. It was already balanced. And people keep trying to figure out, how does that work? Well, see, you got a hydrogen here and a hydrogen there. 
that makes two. There's two of them there. One oxygen here, one oxygen here, one sodium here, one sodium there, one chloride here, one chloride there. All right. I, the four caught my attention for this next one. Four chlorines. Only two chlorines, so I'm going to put a two there. Mm, that's, that's changing some stuff. Okay. So now I'm thinking, all right, if I'm doing that, so, oh, wait, nope. I don't think so. We got chlorines here also. What if I put the two there? Two chlorines and two chlorines makes four chlorines, and that balances. But I got two hydrogens and two fluorines, so I put a two there, and that works out. So don't be afraid to start with something and then erase it and try something else. It's perfectly cool. Okay. Now, four on the hydrogen caught my attention, so I'm going to put a two there. All right. One carbon, one carbon. Two oxygens and two oxygens, that's four total. So I'll put a two on the O2, that's four total. Now here, I'll try the same thing. I see that three, six, so I'll put a three there. Two times three is six. Two carbon, so I'm gonna put a two there. Okay, now my oxygen. Two times two is four, plus three more is seven. I cannot put fractions here. Can't have half an atom. Seven halves will not work. So double everything. Make that a two. Make that a seven, make this a four, and make this a six, okay? So we don't learn these by watching somebody do them. We learn these by going through and actually balancing them out, okay? So time for us to get to practicing. Okay, this is Morgan, signing off.